Yes guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Now today we have an 800k squad builder for you guys. Now this is 800k uh, on Xbox. It'd probably be the similar price on PlayStation. And it is of course as we're making this video. So it could go up, could go down. Probably down with this market knowing how it is. But um, it is a pretty, pretty fun squad builder. It starts off in a 4-3-2-1. It does change in game to anything like the two midfielders and four attackers. So... 4 triple 2 if you want, or 4 2 3 1, or 4 4 2. Or, guess you could play a 4 1 2 and 2 narrow if you wanted to do that. Pretty much though, we're going to start in goals. We're not going to waste any time. I'm going to go with uh, Loris in goal. Uh, been very good for me. He's one of the players I've only played nine games with because uh, I packed him on tradable and thought actually he fits in the team. Um, oh, that's Bellingham on the bench there. Um, he's 6 foot 2, which is good enough, and he's very, very quick and, you know, good at throwing, catching. He does it all pretty much, so um, good little keeper. I don't think keepers have a massive influence though. Uh, but yeah, that is the goalkeeper spot. And then right back and left back, we are going to play a game with the team. It's going to be in right back, we're going to have Ricardo Pereira. Um, he's actually very good. Um, you could, I guess, go with someone else, but you'd lose chemistry on other players. 23 games, one goal, four star weak foot, which is very nice. High high, which I think is really good for a, a wing back. And then... Um, well-rounded defending and physical really good dribbling and good enough pace nice passing as well and then at left back we have got the main man amavi our first special card of the team a few special cards mainly in the midfield and attack though but um yeah this card is very good weak foot five star bit like um what's his face um mendy similar sort of player left footed which what you need high medium which is fine absolutely rapid good uh, crossing short pass long pass really good dribbling stats great defending and great phys physical so he's a really good player uh, for about 30k as well very very nice and then at center back we have got um, one of them is going to be from French from the league earn it's going to be probably guessed it Kim Pembe an absolute tank he's so so good you probably played him and thought what the hell is this this guy's so overpowered not much I need to say on Kimpembe. And the other guy is even more overpowered, but is a million times the price in uh, Varane. He is honestly worth every penny. He's so good. He's worth 240k when I bought him, which is a few days ago. 23 games, and this guy's literally a beast. He is so overpowered. He's like Kimpembe times four. So, um, yeah, he's so good. But those two together, I think, might be my favorite partnership I've used so far. So... In the midfield, an interesting card. Maybe you guys think, what the hell is he doing with him? But um, I think he's very, very fun. He is a ones to watch. Pretty much a gold card because he hasn't been upgraded. Kamavinga. And don't sleep on this card. I've played so much with him. 83 games, one goal and four assists from CDM. Isn't bad. Four star skill moves, three star weak foot. High, high. He's just such a presence. He's like a really, really cheap Vieira. Um, he just gets in the way of everything and uh, just... Tackle and offload the ball. That's what I do with Kamavinga, and it works really well. Now you might think a Man United player and a, and a French, um, a Portuguese player. Who are we going to put here? It is going to be. I think he's a Cam out of Pax and in my club, Mister Bruno Fernandez. There he is, our other CDM. Only 70 defending. I guess you could put a shadow on him, but I played 96 games with him at CDM as well. That's all at CDM. 11 goals and 13 assists. He's insane. Look, I bought him for 103, uh, 103k. He's about 47k, I think, right now. Um, he's worth every penny as well. He's really fun. Uh, yeah, he's literally 40k. That is crazy. But um, yeah, that those two in the midfield are very, very fun. In at cam spot is one player you will have had to do the SPC, but I'm convinced a good 90% of the community has. It is Nabil Fakir. Four star, four star, left foot, high, medium. From 37 games at Cam, 21 goals and 16 assists is very, very good. With those stats there, that is incredible. Put him in the team, we can see what he gets upgraded. I think that's a finisher chem style on him. Um, really good finishing and then agility, balance, dribbling. Oh, he's a beautiful card. And then on the wings, we've got a left winger who is a live card. I think uh, our second, no, third live card. Um, and that is not a French player. <laughs> Dutch, actually, uh, you might might guess Dan Juma. Um, I packed him as well. I thought I want to try him, and he's been very very fun to use. 
my wide players don't get many goal contributions, mainly comes down the centre, but they are involved because they whip it down uh, down the line and back into the centre. So, yeah, four-star, four-star, high-medium, 28 games, six goals and five assists. Absolute tank and good finishing stats, good dribbling as well. He's very, very fun and he's rapid. Everyone loves a bit of pace. In at right wing is a Brazilian player. Um, he is another live card that I packed and he is quite expensive because he is fun to use and that is Rodrigo. He is very, very good at dribbling. Uh, that's what I've noticed anyway. Um, 88 dribbling and 10 goals and 21 assists from a winger is pretty, pretty good return, I'd say. 90 stamina as we last the whole game. Absolutely rapid. Brilliant finishing and dribbling is his main stat, like I said. I think he's very, very good and works very, very well. And then the final player could be any, any La Liga striker. So if you've got Anyaki Williams and you love him, put him there. I haven't done him because I thought he's quite overpriced. I have actually got a base card, believe it or not, Benzema. And he's been so fun to use. Um, I often sub him off, but 23 games, 11 goals and 16 assists. He's just got 90 finishing. You just know he's going to score. But um, him and Fakir just do everything together and it's so, so fun. Uh, I had a whale of a time on weekend league, literally breezed through to 12 wins. And yeah, that is literally it for the team. It is very, very fun. Um, the defence is very, very, very good. Um, I think maybe Kyle Walker could be the upgrade. You could say Mendy's better than Amavi, but I think they're really similar. Um, Kante for Kamavinga. And then maybe if you have player of the month, a lot of people will have player of the month for Benzema. Stick him there, just upgrade him. Or you can get his inform if you have the budget. Um, so you could do that, but we are going to get into a game with this 800k team um, I guess I'll show you my custom tactics. Don't copy them because well definitely go ahead and copy them if you want to But I wouldn't say you rely on them, but um, 4 2 3 one balance 50 everywhere You know the drill fifth uh, Fakir at Cam, Benzema striker, Rodrigo and Dan Juma on the wings Cam Vinga, Fernandez, this defense stays as it is pretty much the same thing if I go into the 4-4-2 just Fakir joins as a striker and then and then the same thing here, Fakir's a striker in a 4 triple 2 My custom tactics aren't anything special. Um, I don't really play around with them a lot. I just leave them as they are. But yeah, let's get into a game with this amazing 800k team. All right then, this guy's got a nice Bundesliga team. Um, I'm not sure about that centre-back. Is he the really quick one? He might be. I don't know. That player of the month, um, is it Wurtz or something? Lewandowski, obviously not got the pace, but he's got the finishing, a bit like Benzema. It's going to be an interesting game. Hopefully, we can secure a win out of it. Uh, we'll go into the 4-2-3-1 one to begin with. That's what I usually start in. Then I often mix it up uh, if if it's not working. Um, oh, hello. Got the ball here. Dan Juma. Nice little... Ooh. Hang on. Could be in here. Benzema. He does not miss those. That is honestly why I think someone like him... It's so, so valuable for a team because you just know if he's in that box and he's in that area, he's going to put it away. And that's what I love about him. He's accidentally clicked B there. I think he was trying to tackle. I don't know what Loris has made an absolute meal of it there. I don't know if I'll show the full game. I think I will because you want to see what the whole team does. And like mistakes like that, you're, you're uh, you know, entitled to see with the team. But um, yeah, he's got that Verts card. Got the... Good save of Lorries there. I think if I show the highlights, you'll only see the attacker's glory. You won't see anything uh, good or bad the defenders do. Yeah, so I think it's fair if I show show most of the game. Maybe I will cut some out if it gets a bit boring. But, um, oh, hang on. That isn't good. He's gone back outside, back inside. Shot from there. I would never have shot from there, but fair enough. Got a, He's got a corner from it. Got to get rid of that, I was going to say. Flipping... Um, well, I can't think what's his name Lewandowski was there that's a great ball out to Dan Juma can we go inside should have gone back the other way that was poor for me right should have the pace on Lewandowski every time so as long as he doesn't play it wide to like Coleman and who was his other one Sane who are absolutely rapid together should be okay for pace this is nice build-up play, though. Like I said, the wingers don't get too much goals and assists, but they do get involved because I use them to get, get up the pitch, pretty much. It is quite a good system. And that is a good ball if he was onside, but he's not. Played it quite short. Kamavinga. 
he's probably the one where you're thinking, I don't know if I want to use him. But honestly, give him a go if you have him. And if you don't, you just buy his gold for now. But I'm waiting for him to get the Real Madrid, I'm sure, will win 5 out of 10 games. I don't know what they're on. Uh, they should comfortably do that in the La Liga. Be pretty worried if they didn't. Bruno with the interception there gets flipping lost it. Now he is using his pace. And Varane, you, I don't think much get, literally not a lot get past him there. And I've accidentally brought out, um, ooh, that was almost, almost nice. I accidentally brought out Varane by clicking LB when I passed it with him. Habit I have, which I don't mean to do, but I do. Kimpembe. What a guy. Didn't mean to do that, but it worked. Bruno is just so good on the ball. He never really loses it. Once he has it at his feet, he doesn't lose it often. Which is what I like about him the most, I think. This is good build-up. Still got it. Benzema. Into Rodrigo. Could be in. Ah. Couldn't quite get it down into the path of the goal. Nice Bruno. Good, good interception. Oh, this could be good. Is he on? I don't know if he's on. Oh. Oh, I messed that up. What am I doing? Go on, give that to Fakir. Oh, no. Pereira into Benzema. That... Alfonso Davies one of the hardest defenders to play against. I feel like he's just everywhere at all times. That is nice from Amavi. The boys are playing well at the moment. Can Bruno find Rodrigo? He can. Got Benzema inside. I'm gonna go back to Kama. Kamavinga. Restart. Benzema could be offside there. <sighs> he wasn't, and I missed that. Fair play. I thought he was offside. Should have taken the time to get on his right foot because obviously he's not left footed, but should be probably scoring that still. Oh, Fekir. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Nabil Fekir, that is a beautiful finish. Literally, that is what he can do. His dribbling so good, and then when it's on his left peg, he's scoring pretty much all the goals in the box. Love that from him. Didn't, didn't really see his defender there, but it's actually worked out. Here we go then. Come on, Dan Juma. Might be able to get someone's head on that. Benzema. <sighs> Ooh, Benzema. Nearly got his flipping skull on that into the box then. Into the goal, not the box. Fakir, go on, lad. Go on, Dan Juma. Right, this is either Ben... Yeah, it's Benzema goal, isn't it? Oh, my God. Oh, we got lucky there. Benzema missed it. That was a good save from Neuer. He Shot it straight at him. Might have a rage quit. That might be the quickest way to show you this 800k team. I think that summed it up, really. Attacking football. Just using all the four attackers. Tiki tacker pretty much. Just pinging it about. And we've scored three goals in 37 minutes. I think that's pretty impressive. And it just shows you, literally, how easy it was to, to win that game there. That is w one way to sum up the team. And that is going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the 8 UK team. If you do buy any of the players or the whole team itself, let me know how I get on with it. And yeah, if you're new, want more FIFA content, literally every FIFA content, I'll do it. So subscribe if you're new. And yeah, peace.